Hey there, this is Michael Pollack with MichaelDPollack.com and I'd like to take a couple minutes and talk about WP Prosperity, the premium WordPress theme that I've got available on my site here. And I want to talk about some of the customization options that are available. Um, I did that in a previous video where I talked about the header and the navigation uh, customization options. In this video, I want to talk about the different page layouts that are available and how easy it is to change the page layouts either site-wide or on a page-by-page -page basis. And this is the WP Prosperity demo site. And if you go to the site and you hover over this page layouts link in the top navigation bar, you'll see the various page layouts that are available on the theme. And this is just uh, one example I've got. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different page layouts ranging um, in from a one column full width layout to um, even like a three column um, three column layout with a narrow sidebar, a wide sidebar, and kind of a standard content area. So let's go over to the development site that I have set up and and like my previous video, this is kind of the blank slate setup or the the default setup of WP Prosperity when you first install the theme. It's a two column layout and I'm going to go into the dashboard and specifically into the theme settings page that's built into WP Prosperity and we're going to go to this page layout section or page layout options section and there are several different sort of default page layouts for various pages on the site. There's a default layout for the for every page on the site and then you can have the home page layout uh, set different from the default layout, the archive layout, which would be your category uh, category pages, your tag archives, your author archives, your date based archives, single post pages. You can set that separately. Individual pages or single pages, um, and then the 404 error page. Even uh, BB Press, if you use BB Press plugin, which is the forum plugin for WordPress, you can set the page layouts. If you use WooCommerce, you can set the shop page layout, the single product layout, the cart page layout, um, checkout page, customer account page, and I guess that's it. There's about, I don't know, 15 different options here for individual pages. Now, the other way that you can set the page layout, well, let's let's start. Let's go back to the default site-wide layout here, and let's just pick this. Um, let's pick one of the three-column layouts here. Um, so you could set that layout, and then we should have a three-column layout for every page on the site here. And my computer's downloading kind of slowly today, so now we have a three-column layout. Now we could go to the home page and instead of using the default layout we could use a two column layout where every other page will have a three column uh, we could set the home page to use a two column so this is the home page it's using a two column layout and if we go to an individual post you'll see it's got um, a three column layout set these back to default for the time being and we'll go back to the two column layout. Now besides the theme settings page you can also change the page layout on each individual post or each individual page. So let's just go into a post here and we've got this um, we've got the standard we got the default two column layout for this uh, test post with, with comments here if you wanted this particular post to be um, a full width post, you've got WP Prosperity post options down here and you could just change the page layout on this one post. So we should now have a full width layout. Or if you wanted to do a three column layout, you could very easily do that as well. So you might have a specific post where um, you're getting a lot of traffic for a particular keyword and if you happen to be running some advertisements maybe you want to place an advertisement in this sidebar um, that would just be kind of one example 
uh, of, of how you could use this particular uh, function of the theme. And then you can do the very same thing for each individual page. So let's go look at the pages here. And we'll just look at this first first page. And these are just these are just example pages. They're not really um, not real pages. They're just just for content on the site. I think I've already got the page layout changed on this one. So if we use the default page layout, we should have a content wide sidebar layout, and we do. And let's say we want to go full width on this particular page for some reason. So we have a full page layout. So you have incredible flexibility on um, the page layouts that, that you can have on your site. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of like most of my pages are all the same layout, but a lot of people like you know, like to have that flexibility to have, um, you know, different layouts for different pages. And WP Prosperity gives you plenty of options and plenty of versatility to do that. So that's all I need to show you on the page layouts for this particular video. Um, if you want to subscribe to my, my YouTube channel um, for, for additional videos, you can go ahead and do that. I probably should put my link to my YouTube um, my YouTube page, and I'll do that, uh, so you'll be able to you'll be able to access it. All right, thank you. And if you have any questions, go to michaeldpollock.com. You can also go to wp-prosperity.com, and uh, just hit the um, if you hit the buy now link. That'll take you right over to my site. You can hit the contact page and, and give me a shout if you have any, any questions. Thank you. Talk to you soon.